Hello and welcome to another AIC video. So I am following up on a comment I've received a couple of times about my X280, specifically about this, the uh, wireless WAN port. So my laptop was not optioned with the um, so cellular option to be able to have uh, internet wherever. Um, and so I have an open slot here. And people have been asking if you can use this for storage. And the reason why I haven't really answered this is because I don't really know. I'm 90% confident that you can. Um, I just haven't tried it. So I don't know 100% because I haven't actually done it. And I'll show you why. So this is your typical storage slot on this laptop. It is an NVMe. And the most important thing, if you look at those pins, sorry for the glare. The pins on this uh, is an M keyed M.2 slot. So you could have M.2 slot or M.2 drives with all different sorts of keys on there. And you have B and M keys. Uh, that's on. <laughs> so these are M keyed. And this is M and B keyed. And these, this is um, an NVMe. This is a SATA 3. I have another M and B key here. Um, this one's NVMe. Um, this one is SATA 3. So um, you have all these different options for what it's keyed. So to do this, you need one that is. Um, M and B keyed. So just an M key won't fit in the slot. It won't physically go in, right? Because it's not keyed for that. The the where the where the slot there goes, there's a tab here. My other problem is is these are really close to the system board. And so drives that I have that would fit, like this M and B keyed one, won't actually work because if I can even get slot in, it won't go in any further than that because there's junk on the back of the PCB. So I can't use this one. I have this one, which if I unscrew this screw, does work. It does fit. Let's go ahead and plug it in. All right, it lays flat now. I'm not a fan of that because that memory chip, let's see, can I show you that, is actually sitting against the system board. Now I know that there is um, some plastic here, but I can't screw it into place because then I'd be flexing the board and possibly breaking something. And so I haven't felt comfortable doing that. Now I can go ahead and turn this on and see if that drive is recognized without screwing it in. So let's do that real quick. One thing with these is they are terrible fingerprint magnets. So let's go ahead, see if we get an error because I don't know what's on that drive. I don't know if there's an OS installed on there or what. And so this doesn't recognize that drive. But let's go to here. Um, so let's go here, go to uh, control panel. Come on. It's looking.
Toho does not want to bring up those drives, so I don't know if it's not able to read that drive, if it sees it in there, but I think it needs to be an NVMe drive and not a SATA 3, that's a th SATA 3 drive. So I'm not quite sure exactly what the problem is, but um, it's not working, obviously. Um, at least my computer's not happy with it. So I would say if this works, everything bringing this up, but I don't think I have an SD card in it. There's a slot in the back, but I don't think I have an SD card. So anyways, I'm going to call this one a, a it doesn't work, um, but I don't have an NVMe uh, B and M key uh, drive to test it that is single sided. So if you want to buy me one, <laughs> I can definitely test it for you. I'll see if I can find one on Amazon to throw it in the video description. Uh, but that's why I haven't really tested this. I don't really have an answer because I don't have the right equipment to test. So that is why. Um, so anyways, if you want, uh, if you have comments, questions or thoughts, leave those down below. Um, hopefully somebody who's done this before can see this video and respond to it and correct me um, in that. But a quick Google search does show it could possibly work if you have the correct drive i just don't have the correct drive anyways thank you for watching hope you have an amazing day